And now it's time for the Really Big Question Show with your host, Man James Lee. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the James Manley Show, the show with really big questions and really short ties. I am your host, as always, Really Big Question, and uh, that wasn't right. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. Uh, got confused a little bit. Uh, today, we have a question for you about the Tower of Babel. In what chapter of Genesis do we read about the Tower of Babel? All right, there you have it. Today's question of the day will give you some hints along the way to help you figure out the answer to today's James, Ma I mean, really big question. We'll see you at the end of the show. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to the Kids Vids. Today we're going to talk about the time that God confused the languages of all the people at the Tower of Babel. Let's begin. Day one, day one, God made light when there was none. Day one, day one, God made light when there was none. Day two, day two, God made clouds and sky so blue. Day two, day two, God made clouds and sky so blue. Day three, day three, God made land and plants and sea. Day three, day three, God made land and plants and sea. Day four, day four, sun and moon and stars galore. Day four, day four, sun and moon and stars galore. Day five, day five, God made birds and fish alive. Day five, day five, God made birds and fish alive. Six day, six day, God made animals and man that day. Six day, six day, God made animals and man that day. Day seven, day seven, God has rested in his heaven. Day seven, day seven, God has rested in his heaven. In what chapter of Genesis do we read about the Tower of Babel? Hey, let's read a story about the tower that flopped. Noah's family grew and grew and spread across the land. They all spoke just one language. Everyone could understand. Then people in the city said, Let's make a plan together. We'll build a tower to the sky. The tallest tower ever. We'll build right up to heaven. Our tower will be first rate. We won't need God to help us out because we are so great. Give yourself a pat on the back, yeah. So as they worked and climbed and built, they never thought of God. They dreamt of their great tower. Isn't that quite odd? Well, all this made God very sad. Hmm. He shook his head and thought too bad. They need to know that I'm number one, not who they are and what they've done. Then all at once God had a plan. He changed their language. Then, oh man, whatever words the people said, the listeners would just scratch their heads. Huh? What? I don't get it. What did you say? Oh, just forget it. Blabber, blabber, blooper, tress. All their words were just one mess. One helper said, help me lift this load. Instead, his friend hopped like a toad. Someone asked for a drink. The person nearby said, whoo, you stink. This mix-up caused their plans to stop. The th tower just became one big flop. The people scattered far and wide because of silly, foolish pride. God reigns in heaven over all. He makes nations rise and fall. God deserves our thanks and praise. So let's serve him all of our days. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. 
The wise man built his house upon the rock, and the rains came tumbling down. Oh, the rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up, and the house on the rock stood firm. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. And the rains came tumbling down. Oh, the rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. And the house on the sand went splash. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. And the blessings will come down. Oh, the blessings come down as the prayers go up. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey you! Yes, you! Tired of being seen and not heard? Wish you could understand what everyone around you was saying. Well, then you need a Tower of Babel Translator Kit. Our Tower of Babel Translator Kits offer only the best and superior sound quality. Set your speakers anywhere from mute all the way up to 11. We are truly raising the bar when it comes to sound quality. But wait, there's more! Order today and get a special offer on our Speaking in Tongues Foreign Language Pack. Our professionals will meet with you online so you can become a master speaker in no time. Tower of Babel Translator Kits. Sound no one can beat. In what chapter of Genesis do we read about the Tower of Babel? All right, let's pray together. Bow your head, close your eyes, put your hands together. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for this story of the Tower of Babel. We know, dear God, that pride in the Bible is a bad thing. It's important for us to not think too highly of, of ourselves and to know that you are God and that you're in charge. Help us, Father, to put our pride away and trust in you. Forgive us when we sin. In Jesus' holy name, amen. And now it's time for the epic conclusion of the Really Big Question Show with your host, James Manley. Hello, everybody. I'm James Manley, and this is the Really Big Question Show. And we got everything sorted out with one of those cool little translators. I don't know if you've heard of them. Anyway, we've got the answer for today's really big question. Are you ready to hear it? First, the question one more time. In what chapter of Genesis do we read about the Tower of Babel? All right, are you ready for your answer? Here it goes. Genesis chapter 11. All right, there you have it, the answer to today's really big question. If you want to hear more about the Tower of Babel, go read the first several verses of Genesis chapter 11, and you can learn more about what happened there. Did you get today's question right? Hey, congratulations if you did, and if you didn't, we'll see you Tuesday with another new episode of the Really Big Question Show. See you then. Thanks for joining us today. We appreciate you being here and enjoying in. Invite your friends. Share this with others so that they can see it as well. See you next time. Bye.